Well, today the state reported an increase of more than 12,000 Idahoans getting their first dose of the vaccine. But even with the new doses, the statewide vaccination rate is lower than it has been because the state began including the 5 to 11 year old age group in the vaccination rate. Our Tristan Lewis joins us now in studio, checking in on with local clinics on what trends they're seeing with that age group. Kristen, Tristan, I know you were doing that tonight, so did you notice anything significant? Well, Mark and Kim, health groups still continue to push the message. The vaccine is here and it's time to get it now. But as the holidays approach and more news surrounding Omicron increases, doctors are still seeing similar trends that have been going on the last few months in terms of the vaccine. There's plenty of availability of vaccine and we can we can take care of you. Even with more groups eligible for the COVID-19 vaccine and booster, Primary Health CEO Dr. David Peterman says there haven't been drastic changes. What we're seeing right now is I wouldn't call it an increase. We're seeing, uh, in a sense, three, three different groups of people. Those three groups are people getting their initial dose, receiving their second dose, and getting their booster. Peterman says Primary Health gives out about five to 6,000 vaccine doses a week. We could do many more vaccines, and, and frankly, for the sake of the community, we wish we were doing more vaccines. According to the Idaho Department of Health and Welfare, 50.8% of Idahoans are fully vaccinated. With the addition of 5 to 11-year-olds in the statewide data, that number has dropped 7%. More than 20,000 children in the 5 to 11-year-old age range have received at least one dose. But according to the U.S. Census, Idaho has nearly 177,000 kids aged 5 to 11. When the uh, vaccine was available initially for the 5 to 11 group, we saw a, a significant demand that increased. And then over the next, oh, four weeks, five weeks, there's been a steady decline. Whereas primary health is seeing less of 5 to 11 year olds come in, St. Alphonse's pediatrician, Dr. Michael Wheaton, says he is seeing the opposite in their health system. I think the uh, draw for the vaccine has, I, I personally think it has increased relative to, to the beginning. I, I think there was a, a huge surge with people wanting to get vaccinated, but I still think it's, it's still occurring, at least in our Nampa site. Even with an increase, there is still a lot of availability for the vaccine at St. Alphonsus. If they're in for a normal visit, I, I give the vaccine no problem. We have plenty of vaccine. And Dr. Wheaton says at the Garrity Pediatric Clinic in Nampa, they give out 10 to 15 doses per day. And Mark and Kim, 4% of pediatrics in Idaho are fully vaccinated, but that number will increase as more 5 to 11 year olds start to visit clinics and doctors to get their second dose. And it won't be long before babies younger than five get vaccinated too. Hopefully sometime after the first year. Tristan, thanks.